Well, I'm here outside of a library here in Southern California. This happens to be the city of Menifee, and I've got some concerned citizens here with me. They came to me and said, hey, have you heard about what's in our public libraries? And, and I've, I've heard about it, and now I've seen it. And I just want to ask you ladies, so why, why are you concerned about what's happening here? Well, we're concerned for the children that are being affected. And uh, although we don't have children in school, but we have grandchildren, we have great grandchildren, and this is just, it's disgusting yeah. what they're being. And we, we care about all children. Yes. This is America. We want better here. Yeah. Yes. Well, I too don't have any children, but um, we need to protect the innocent and those that can't protect themselves. And um, we've been entrusted to do that. And I don't want to look back on my life and say, I did nothing. Right. I knew it was terrible. I knew those books were out there. I had to come see for myself. Yeah. Yeah. And once I saw them, I knew that I had to try to expose as much of it yeah. as possible. Yeah. And they yeah. were worse than we even imagined. Yeah. Well, one, one of the books in particular, the purple book that, the purple yeah, book. Um, there were things in there because I've read that book. There were things in there that, that I didn't even know what it was, you know, and so right. okay. we're introducing some subject matter to children and that, that's a book written for children yes uh, we're introducing subject matter that if a grown adult doesn't know what it is why are we exposing this to children and you have to question the motive behind the people who write these books and the motive by, behind people who allow the books in there so yeah. the, i think a good question who's the pervert who allowed this to be here somebody said yes to yes. this so I, I look at it this way this person who said yes Put their stamp of approval for that kind of filth to be in here is one of two things. Either A, they're a pervert, or B, they're a coward. Yeah. Right? Yes, I mean, that's right. Because so they, were, they were afraid to... They're too afraid yeah, to do anything yes. about it. Maybe, maybe let's, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. They're not good with this stuff. They think it's what it is. It's filth. Okay. Why aren't they doing anything about it? The answer is they're a coward. They're a coward. Yeah. Well, we know they're indoctrinating our kids as young as they can. One book starts at kindergarten, um, showing them the pride flag in every aspect of their life, whether it's their dog, whether it's their daddy, whether it's mommy's hat, um, the socks on the yeah. little kids, and even a pastor or the fruit stamp. It's to get them so um, aware that this is normal. They're right. trying to normalize everything right. that we call and our right. Lord calls evil. Right. This is evil. Right. They're indoctrinating our children. Right. Yes. You bring up the pastor in that one book. Um, this yes. female pastor, mm -hmm. caller on, clearly a, a reverend pastor of some sort, but holding up a sign that says, Love thy neighbor. Mm -hmm. And we're, this is Pride Month that we're in, and people would say to you, Well, you're so hateful. You know, why don't you just love your neighbor the way the Bible says? Um, I believe that what you're doing is an act of love. Act you, of love. Yeah, so what do you say to those who would say that you're being hateful right now? We do love our neighbors. I have yes. family members that are in that lifestyle, mm -hmm. and I pray for them always, you know. Right. But we've got to keep the little children from growing up thinking that's normal. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, I don't. Honestly, if I'm just going to be transparent, I don't care if they say that, yeah. that I'm being hateful. I don't care if they say you're a racist, you're a bigot, um, whatever they say about me. It just matters what, when I stand before the Lord, what he's going to say about me. That's right. right. So it just, I just dust it off. Well, yeah. I think when they're saying it, I'm kind of glad. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I, so I guess I'm doing what I'm mm -hmm. supposed it's a righteous to be doing. Act. Right. It's a righteous right. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, the... The Lord himself said, blessed are you when people revile you, persecute That's you, and right. say all manner of wickedness against you falsely. And it is a false statement it to is. say that you're being hateful when truly what you're doing is trying to love these children That's right. and bless them protect and bless them. the community, protect, protect them. The that is an act of love, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, God was very clear, you know, it's better that a millstone be tied around your yeah. neck, you be flung into the sea than to cause one of these little ones to stumble. And that's what's happening. They're causing them. It's a very deliberate act. They're causing them to stumble. Yes. And they're so, so. confused. And, right. um, you know, God is not a God of confusion. No. Uh, to the point where they don't know who they are, they, they might become even suicidal. Oh, because they, they have. are so yes. distraught. Right. Inwardly. Yes. Right. And I'm thankful for you, Pastor, yeah. that you're willing to come oh, forward. We too. came to you because we knew you would. 
we knew you we knew you would i sound <laughs> like the pillow man right <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. well you know it's um you bring up the whole thank you for that You're but welcome. um you you bring up the whole suicide issue and that's yes. one of the arguments they come well they're they're going to yeah. commit suicide and you look at young beautiful women like chloe cole like, right who who never thought about suicide until after her body was mutilated by yeah. people who were supposed to protect her yes they oh, yeah. mutilated her body and then she started considering suicide so so the the numbers are very clear these people say that the suicide rate the the numbers very clear it's not until after they start experiencing these type of sin where they start to contemplate these things yes. so it's so important to protect them at a young age and aren't we those yeah. people now the people that are supposed to protect them just right. because they're not mine from birth there's there still are they're all our kids yeah well if you ask joe biden they all belong to all of us so <laughs> yes that's true yeah um but you know here's the thing we have a responsibility to to protect them yes. and and ladies you're doing that you're stepping forward you're exposing so ephesians 5 11 says have no part in these wicked deeds done in darkness rather what we expose, expose them. them and that's what you're doing so thank you so much well, for doing it thank you parents be aware thank you for your mm. teaching mm. yeah and just I mean, I'm I'm so blessed Thank you. at our church. Thank you. Or twelve. Just pray all pastors. Pray that all pastors are like this pastor. Yeah. Yes. Well, I just pray that they they'll talk about these issues. Yes. yes. And you know, yeah. I know we are all out of our comfort zone mm -hmm. with this, and so yes. for anybody who's watching and thinking I could never do that, you could do it. Yeah. Yep. Good. You could do it with Good. the Lord. Speak you can out, do. even if you just tell yeah. another neighbor. Get together with some other moms. Show them these books. Yeah. Talk about these books. That's mm -hmm. kind of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah. people are amazed that yeah. they're, that's right. They're, uh, you right. got this at the library. Right. Yes, they're in the library. You have to look for them, but they're yeah. there. And also, parents need to know this: if you think that you're you're the parent and you have rights here in the library, let me make sure you know this: your child has the right according to them inside they have the right to check out a book without you knowing about it you're not you're not allowed if the child doesn't want you to know what they're checking out they have the right over you and that is something that has to stop we got to take that back in California.